my fellow emergency medical professionals working in Africa and around the world. As president of the Africa Federation for Emergency Medicine, I am happy to support the World Emergency Medicine Day dedicated to safety. It's of utmost importance to us to ensure that our colleagues have a safe and secure working environment and our patients receive the care they need without facing any risk. The Emergency Medicine Day campaign on safety is a call for all emergency medical professionals and patients across the Africa region and the world to unite and demand better working conditions. We know that our patients need our care, attention, relief from pain and disease, but our emergency medical professionals also require the right working conditions to provide the all needed necessary care. The Africa region has faced many increasing challenges in the past decade, including increasing communicable diseases such as malaria, HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and cholera, and compounded by the emerging and re-emerging infections such as COVID-19, Ebola, dengue, and Lassa fever. There's also been an increase in non-communicable diseases due to the increasing in urbanization, change in diet, and our aging population. Issues of maternal and child health also continue to rampage, not forgetting road traffic collisions and natural disasters, as well as conflicts and displacement, all which significantly impact the health population and tests the limits of the emergency care provision. Our emergency healthcare professionals, such as our doctors, nurses, EMTs, and paramedics, have demonstrated exceptional skill in managing even in the disasters and these conditions. But note, we are not immune to these issues. We cannot ignore the fact that our working conditions in our emergency medical services have not greatly improved, and sometimes we face potential exposure to violence and trauma within our workplaces. This greatly affects our staff morale, the mental health, and retention of our staff as we continue to face this on a daily basis. The risk of burnout among our colleagues is high, which is why we must continue to raise our voices and demand for more safety for all. It's a matter of urgency that we come together as one voice and demand more safety in the emergency healthcare system. As the Africa Federation for Emergency Medicine, we urge all emergency medical professionals, stakeholders, media houses, sister organizations, policymakers, the general public, but especially our patients across all countries to join us in this campaign. We want to hear from you. We want to know how your workplaces and environment feels to you. Do you feel safe and protected in your work environment? Are you respected as a person? We also want to hear from our patients. Do you feel safe when you need to go to an emergency department? By sharing your experiences, you can help us understand the challenges we face. We also encourage you to share your good experiences so that we can learn from these and work together in solving these challenges. There are several factors that contribute to an unsafe care in an emergency department. These include, but not limited to, shortage of staff, inadequate training and support, inadequate resources in the emergency department, communication breakdown among staff and among staff and patients, high patient load and ED overcrowding, systemic issues including inadequate funding, for emergency medical services and the lack of access for healthcare services that go for the underserved population. It is important to recognize that these factors interact in a complex way to create an unsafe working condition in the emergency unit, potentially resulting in poor care that affects not just the patients, but also the staff. AFEM is committed to advocating for a safer and more secure environment for emergency healthcare professionals 
and patients. Addressing these issues requires a multifaceted approach that includes improving staffing levels, providing essential and adequate training and support to staff, adequate resources available in all emergency departments, promoting effective communication, managing the patient's volume and ED overcrowding, and addressing core systemic issues within the health services. By working together to address these factors, we can create a safer and more effective emergency medical service that will provide the high quality of care all our patients deserve. It is crucial to come together and demand more safety in our emergency health system. On the World Emergency Medicine Day, which falls on the 27th of May, we come together to raise our voices to make our demands heard. We must continue to work together to ensure that our healthcare personnel have a safe working environment to provide the excellent care for all patients within the Africa region and around the world. By advocating for more safety in our emergency medical systems, we can help improve the lives of our patients, our colleagues, and ensure a safer future for Africa and the rest of the world. We definitely cannot do this alone, but we can do this together. Thank you all and wishing you a good emergency medicine day.